Hey guys, it's Kiki and today I'm going to be doing a Loft and Don Quixote stationery haul. So they are my go-to stores that when I'm getting my favorite stationery items. So the stores, you may have heard of Toki Hands and it's pretty much the same thing. It's very similar and they have more of the branded items such as Pilot, um, Uni and Pentel. I'm very sorry for the quality of this video. I did not have the materials all the time needed to make the quality better as I was in Japan. But I really hope you guys enjoy this video. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. The first three pens that I got are obviously the Pentel Energel pens. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that that is my favorite pen of all time. Even though I actually found very good pens this time around in Japan, so make sure you watch till the very end as I will have many more pen recommendations. Anyways, with the Pentel Energel, I got them in the size 0 0.3, 0 0.4 and 0 0.5. Lately, I've been really loving the thinner pens as I tend to use grid more often now, so I like to make it more precise. So I got the 0 0.3 and 0.4 is probably my favorite that I've tried because it is not too thin but it's not too thick so it's the perfect match. The reason why I love this pen so so much is because not only is it so smooth and so easy to write with but it is non-smudge and I highlight everything in my notes so having a non-smudge pen was essential. And this is my top recommendation for pens. So if you find this anywhere in Japan or if you find it in America, if you live in America, I would definitely recommend getting this. It's so, so good for anyone and especially lefties as well because it doesn't smudge. And as you can probably see, the style of the two the three pens are different. So the 0.3 and the 0.4 are the same as style, but the 0.5 is a different version. The 0.5 was actually cheaper than the 0.3 and 0.4, I think because the the style of the pen it uses less money to make, I guess. But I prefer the 0.3 and 0.4 style just because it, it feels a lot better in my hands. As expected, the Pentel Energel pens write so smooth. As you can see, I'm trying it right here. So <laughs> I would really recommend this pen. I just can't say how good enough it is. It's just a very good pen. Since I absolutely love the Pentel Energel pen so much, when I saw the mechanical pencil version of this, which was the Energize, I've never actually seen this before. And I only saw this this year, so I had to try it. And I've got to say, it's not my favorite mechanical pencil of all time. It's definitely not the worst. And I think it was pretty good for the price. It wasn't too expensive like many of the other mechanical pencils. Um, so I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for an affordable mechanical pencil. The next pen that I got is the Pilot Juice in the size 0.5. And I've seen this everywhere on the internet, so I had to try it. And it was such a good pen. It was so smooth and it glided so nicely. So I, I absolutely love this pen. It exceeded my expectations by so much. So I'm not showing you in this video, but I went back and I got the 0.7 and the 0.3 or 0.38, I can't quite remember. And I also got the Juice Up pen in the size 0.4. That one was slightly more expensive but because it was like a better version it was obviously a lot smoother so I would definitely recommend this this is my second most favorite pen of all time just because it's not as smudge free as the Pentel Energel but it's definitely as smooth so yeah I really love this <laughs> the next pen that I got is the Zebra Blend so this is relatively new so I had to try it and it was it was pretty good. I got the size at 0.5, but later on I got the size 0.7 and I recommend the 0.7 over the 0.5. It was a lot smoother, but it wasn't like extremely thicker, so 
the 0.7 worked better for me. But I actually got this for 200 yen, but I ended up finding this at Daiso and I got it for 100 yen. And I've got a video for my Daiso stationery haul, so I will link that video up in the cards. So definitely make sure to check that out, as I have other pens in that video as well. And overall, this pen was pretty smooth. I quite liked it. It didn't strain my hand, which was the whole point of the pen, I think. So I would definitely recommend this if you have a lot of strain in your hands when you write. The next pen that I got is the Uniball Signo in white in the size 1.0 and this is the UM153. And I've got to say, this is the best white pen I've ever tried. I had a Sarasa one, but this one is definitely a lot bolder and it has much more color. And I actually ended up getting um, black sticky notes from Daiso, which I showed in the Daiso stationery haul video. So make sure to check that out as well. And it stood out so much. It, it, it looked very aesthetic as well. So I absolutely love this pen. I fell in love with it and I would definitely recommend this if you you are into decorating with white pens. The next four items that I got are the Uni Propus Window Highlighters and these are actually the pastel versions and last year I bought a couple and they were actually so smooth. They're probably my favorite highlighters of all time just because it's so smooth and before I said that they didn't have much range that's why I didn't like it that much but they actually increased the range this time. Um, I saw this year that they had a lot more colors so I had to try them and I only got four but they had a lot more just because I have lots of mild liners so I didn't really want to double up on the colors but I got the gray the pink the blue and the green and the colors are so so beautiful I would definitely recommend this if you don't have any mild liners because these are a lot better than the mild liners the quality is a lot better and the colors as probably as good as the mild liners so I would definitely recommend this the next five items are all refills for my Pentel Energels. So I got two in the size 0.3, two in the size 0.4, and one 0.5. After I filmed this video, I actually ended up getting a lot more items, which I didn't get the footage for. I'm really sorry. And I got a lot more ink for the Pilot juice pens as well. So if you guys want me to do an updated pen collection or a more, more stationary videos, let me know down below because this these are my favorite videos to film just because they're so fun and I absolutely love stationary. It's my biggest hobby. So I hope you guys enjoyed and you found this video helpful. If you have any suggestions for future videos, including stationary videos, let me know down below because I absolutely love filming these. They are just so fun to film only because I absolutely love stationary, as I've mentioned before so many times. If you enjoyed this video, I have many other videos on stationary hauls and I've also got two other videos from this year's stationary haul. So I have the Daiso one and the Muji one and I will leave the link up in the cards. So make sure to check that out if you want more videos like this. If you enjoy content like this, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I also do study videos, so make sure to check them out as well. Thank you so much for all your support. Bye guys, see you next time.